Hey guys, welcome back to this video. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make it. So, if you uh, like for roleplay games, uh, you can put in a character ID such as Bad CC or yourself or your friends. And then, if you click on change, you're gonna get dressed up as their character. So, we're gonna start off by making a uh, GUI. Let's name it like uh, Change Change G, uh, Change C GUI. And we're gonna get a frame. And let's position it. So five, la la, the usual stuff. La la la. Let's do a zero point twenty-five comma zero point three comma zero, and I spell it wrong. Zero point twenty-five comma zero comma zero point three comma zero. Ah, uh, let's make it a bit like that. I'm gonna do thirty-five. Looks cool. Uh, six 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 six. I like this color for GUIs. I, I really like it. Uh, let's get a, um, a text label. One comma zero comma zero comma fifty. Then uh, we can do something like um, character changer or something, whatever you want. Okay, now you need to get a text box. So this is going to be the box where they're gonna type in. Uh, can we get a? Six 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 six, and then a bit uh, like brighter. Yep, we can. Um, zero. As I said, I do not really care uh, if you uh, like customize it in your own way. You just customize it. Let's do a uh, two hundred. Okay, that's really wide. That's not. And we can do a text button. Uh, let's do like something like nine. And then change. Like that. Now in your text button, you're going to insert a... Uh, you are going to insert a local script. A local script, yes. We're gonna type is local box is script the parent the parent the text box script the parent uh, no not Paris script the parent the mouse button comma connect function we're gonna do if box dot text uh, box dot text is nothing then oh is it, if it's something else then nothing. Our uh, local ID will be uh, two number a uh, box dot text game dot workspace dot change handler dot change function invoke server ID. What you now got to do is sort of script the local and uh, sort of workspace. Sorry, and we're gonna call this change handler, and we're gonna insert a remote function. And we're gonna name this one uh, change function. What you need um, uh, to type is really, really, really easy. Script dot change function on server invoke is equal to a function of player comma id. I'm gonna rain. Wow. Uh, who? What did I do? Okay, player the character appearance. Uh, I spelled that wrong. Appearance ID equals to ID and player comma load character colon not comma. Okay, that that this should work. Uh, and I forgot something. This will not work. Hold up. Yeah, you need to insert a text button. Let's get one real quick. And over there should be good. Um, I mean, you need to make a button real quick. Um, a local frame is script the parent of parent of frame friend visible, not frame dot visible. Okay, this should work. Now we can um, 
put uh, the Chihuahua. I uh, can go on play. Um, you need to get an ID. I will um, show you that at the top. Uh, no, I will show you a little screenshot of it. And let me get the ID of Asimo. Because Asimo is a really good guy. Or not. Okay, got his ID. We're going to click on change. We're going to click and put the idea and change. And we are a Simo now. Hey. And let's get another one. Let's get from... Um, who should we do? I'm going to click on change. going to put the ID in and click on change. And we are bad CC now. And this is really good for role play games because you can dress up as uh, anybody you want. For example, what we can do now is we can go and get another ID from Bad CC's friend. As you can see, now we're his friend, and you can do this with every character you want. I'll do one more. Over here, change ID. As you can see, we are some kind of girl or something. I hope you enjoyed this video, and hope you like and subscribe, and I hope this is going to help you out uh, furtherly, and I'll see you all in um, the next video. Goodbye!